The Canes had a bad day yesterday. Had a bad. They started slow out of the All Star break. After our big question coming out of the All Star break is, would they start slow? All the worries and fears came true, right? I, I joke about the the terrible, no good, horrible, very bad days that everybody has. I think it's a children's book. Um, you know, you wake up, it's just you, you you pour the cereal, you go to get the milk, you have no milk. So you try to pour the cereal back into the box so you can keep it for tomorrow and you drop the box and you spill it all over the ground. Dog's eating it before you can pick it up. You walk outside, you forgot that last night you said, oh, I'll get gas in the morning on my way to work. So it's on empty. Pull up to the gas station, left your wallet at home. So you try to coast into work, don't make it. Right? Those bad days. That was kind of it for the Canes yesterday. All the worries and fears came true, right? You're you're playing the 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 Vancouver Canucks, but they just signed your former player Eli or just traded for your former player Elias Lindholm. So what do you say? I, I hope he doesn't have a big day, right? All the fans wanted wanted the Canes to trade for Lindholm. I hope he doesn't make that look like a bad decision. He scores two goals. Pyotr Kochekov is back in net after being out for essentially a month with injury and All Star break. I just I hope he plays well. Hope he picks up where he left off. Hope he doesn't look lost. He gives up a goal while he's meandering out behind the net. Ends up being the third goal for the Canucks. I even think simple as, you know, Seth Jarvis, who is a fan favorite and I really like and I like his energy. But guess what, right? He's talking very candidly during the All-Star break about going to Mexico and pounding some beers. And, and you're just thinking, I hope he shows up and doesn't give anyone reasons to say, oh, you should have been more focused on the All-Star break. He has a billion chances right in front of the net. Can't get any of them home. Sebastian Ajo finally coming alive in the second period. Sebastian Ajo scored. He's kind of bad day proof. Uh, he's, he's, he's just really good. But so many of the things that we were talking about going, I hope this doesn't pop up. I hope that doesn't rear its ugly head. I hope, I hope that doesn't hold them back. So many of them held them back. Here's Rod Brindamore's overall thoughts on their first game back. That was what I was afraid might happen. We were terrible to start. And then our, you know, they were good. They were, you know, we got lucky to get out of that first period with, uh, I think it was even. And then we got a little better. I could tell I knew we were going to get to it. And then, you know, probably deserved better in the third. I mean, that was pretty good third period. Just... Didn't happen. I mean, if you'd have went in there this game and said you'd give up one even strength goal against these guys on a bad balance, you'd be like, okay, it's probably pretty good. But, you know, they did a nice job just floating a couple in on the power play and they got the bounces there tonight and they didn't go our way. Hmm. That's exactly what you were fearing. That's exactly what I was fearing. Damon, think about that. There was only one goal that was scored on even, you know, even ice mm -hmm. time, the third one. Martinook scored early. It felt like maybe they would pick up where they left off. It just didn't happen. That was the fear, and it just didn't happen. So now, you know, the 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 only difference is, right, we, we can talk about uh, how it would have been nice if the, the defense prevented all the chances like they were doing before the break. It would have been nice if uh, the attack was as, as opportunistic and took advantage of their chances like they were before the break. It would have been nice, but the fact of the matter is, it's not the end of the world. It's one loss to a team that was at the top of the standings. It's one loss to a team that is very good and got better with the addition of Lindholm. Uh, you know, your your scouting reports were outdated because they added a player. It's one loss. It's not the end of the world, but the task is now you have to get momentum going again. Against the Avalanche. Against the Avalanche or, or against the next six opponents, right? You have to start from scratch again. It's it's nice when you don't have to, to go from zero momentum to cranking it up, which, you know, maybe if there wasn't an all-star break, you would have just rode that momentum forward. But now you have to start it back up again. That's your challenge. Let's talk about the goalies. We talked about the goalies a lot yesterday. Uh, Piotr Kochekov. Did not pick up where he left off pre-injury. Did make some saves. Wasn't tested a ton early, but also had the the ga the gaff right balls going along the 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 uh, boards. He's or ball pucks going uh, along the boards. He he gets a little caught out of position. Some you know some may say the hustle back or whatever. Uh, let's hear from Rod his thoughts on the last goal last goal scored by Vancouver. Well, it's just yeah you know, maybe I mean it's just bad balance. 
the hot randomness like this hockey, that's, that's what happens sometimes. I mean, that was a tough one. And it went right on their tape, and then it bounced again right to their guy and taps it in. So that was a tough one. It was a tough one. But, but you know, it's like saying lucky. So often the good teams are lucky, right? So often the locked-in teams don't have bad bounces. Not saying there was a ton he could have done to prevent that, but he, he didn't have to go get it. He could have just stayed in the stayed in goal, stayed in the crease, watched that thing go on by. He didn't pick up where he left off uh, uh, pre-injury. Another thing that disappointed me about that last goal is that it felt like he didn't go all in. Like he didn't dedicate to clearing the puck out, and that's what allowed for Miller to get the puck and score. It did feel like there was like maybe ten percent less hustle. Like yeah. not a ton. Like it's not like he was out there loafing. I don't want to say the word lazy but, by any means, but. but it did. Yeah, there was probably ten like. I don't know. Die, try to make a spectacular save getting back into goal. You know what I mean? Try try to, yeah, just 10% more, um, which may be coming out of an injury. You're a little little cautious. Maybe coming out of an injury, you're just not in rhythm. That's fair. Maybe. But that's what we were worried about, right? And and it is, you know, it's it's – if you're superstitious, you may be like, you put that energy out into the world. I'm not superstitious. But it, it is always interesting when you can kind of – pinpoint before a game the things you have to worry about and then they come true and part of that is right if you have a weak spot if you have a a a tender spot a team like Vancouver is going to find it Sebastian Ajo after the game on facing such a high-end opponent fresh off the all-star break yeah these these games are uh you gotta love playing these games obviously these are uh good teams that you know most likely will make playoffs so um we want to you know, get better. We uh, we we gotta you know get these tests tests in, and um, yeah, obviously uh, we couldn't uh, find the result today, but uh, for, for sure learn learned a lot from it. Learn a lot from it. You, you learn that Vancouver's pretty good, and Lindholm is good in front of the net. <laughs> learn that you you can't start slow. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Still thought it was an entertaining game. Very entertaining. Part. But it, that goes into what what we've said a bunch of times on this show. Competitive, entertaining doesn't always equate to quality. Right? If you watched that game, uh, the Canes, I mean, tied at the end of the first period. They did not play well in, in the first period, right? It, it was very much uh, not a well-played but a competitive game for the Canes most, most of the time which is a very hockey thing, right? It, you can play great and be, be tied. You can play poorly and be tied. But, you know, chances are over the length of a game, the team that's playing overwhelmingly better is going to end up the team that wins, and that's exactly what happened. 